Hi everyone, in this video, we'll discuss how to swap linked list nodes in pairs. So we are given a head of a linked list and we need to swap every two adjacent nodes. We need to modify the links of the nodes and modifying the node values is not allowed. Let's see a few examples to understand it. So we are given this linked list and if we swap every two adjacent nodes, we'll get B, A, D, C, F, E. So basically A and B, these are adjacent. So these will be swapped to B, A. Similarly, C, D will be swapped to D, C and E, F will be swapped to F, E. So this was when there are even number of nodes. So if there are even number of nodes, we'll have all the pairs which can be swapped. But if there are odd number of nodes, then a single node at the end will be left out. So in that case, we can simply leave the last remaining node. So in the second example, AB will be swapped, CD will be swapped and EF will be swapped. But G has no node to swap. So G will remain as it is and the other pairs will be swapped. So when we are swapping the adjacent nodes, we are not changing the values we are changing the pointers. Now there are various methods to solve this. In this video, I will explain both the recursive method and the iterative method. Let's start with the recursive method first. So we are given this linked list A is the head of the linked list and we need to swap the adjacent pairs. So if we consider this entire linked list, which is after B as L2, then in recursive approach, what we want to do is first we want to reverse these nodes. So it will come as B and A and then we want to do the same operation on this L2. Now in L2, we'll again have many pairs. So we'll again pick two nodes and then pass the remaining linked list to the same function again so that that can be solved as recursively. So we'll follow this approach to swap the nodes in pairs. Let's see how we can do this. So we have this function swap pairs, which takes a node parameter of the linked list. Then our terminating condition for the recursive function is if the head is null or head is the last node. So if head next is also null, that means there is no node to swap. So we can simply return when either of these two conditions are met. Then we save a pointer to the head next in temp. Let's say we call this function swap pairs with node A. At this function, temp is head next, so temp is B. So for head equal to A, we have temp as B, and then we call the swap pair function for next of temp, which is C. So from this function swap pairs, we call the function swap pairs for C. At this function, we again check the if condition. So that is not true. So in this function, head is C and temp is D. So now we call the function swap pairs for next of temp, which is E. For this function, head is E and temp is F. And from here, we call the function swap pairs for node G. So when head is G, we come in this if condition. So now head next is equal to null because G is the last node. So we return head from this function. So this function returns G. So we come to the function call when head is E. And here we come at this line head next. So here head is E. So E next is equal to the return value of swap pairs G, which is G. And then we come at this line temp next is equal to head. So temp is F. So F next becomes E. So basically what we have done is E next is G and F next is E. So this is the linked list as if now. Now from this function, we return temp. So temp is pointing to F. So this function returns F. 
now in swap pair c we set next of head so next of head means next of c becomes f because f is the return value and then we set next of temp so next of temp means next of d becomes head which is c so c next becomes f and d next becomes c and then we return temp so temp is d so in swap pairs a function we set head next which is next of a equal to the return value which is d and then we set next of temp which is next of b equal to a and we return temp so temp is pointing to b so a next becomes d and b next becomes a and we are returning the pointer to b so this will be our answer that we are returning the pointer to b and this will be our link list b a d c f e and g so we have swapped the link list nodes in pair so here by using simple recursion we have swapped the link list nodes in pair now in link list questions which can be done recursively we can also do them iteratively let's see how we can solve the same problem using iterative method so in most of the link list questions when we use iterative method we make use of dummy pointers so basically dummy is the pointer which we assume comes before head of the link list so in this question since a is the head so we'll assume we have two pointers previous and current previous points to dummy and current points to head of the link list which is a so we'll consider the dummy pointer which comes before head of the link list so next of dummy pointer is the head so we keep dummy pointers so that we can avoid the if else condition which will be that if head is equal to null so just to avoid those condition we keep a dummy pointer and at the end we return next of dummy then we have a while loop which we run till current is equal to null or current next is equal to null because we need a pair to swap so we'll iterate only till the point we have a pair so if we reach like node g or null node we'll stop the iteration so in the first step we'll set previous next is equal to current next so previous is dummy so we are setting dummy next to current next so we are creating the link from dummy to b and then we set current next is equal to current next next so current next means next of a and current next next is c so we are creating the link from a to c so we are breaking this link and then we set previous next next to current which means previous next is b and next of b is c so we are creating the link from b to a so we are breaking this link so after this step our link list is dummy then we have b then we have a then we have c d e f and g so here you can see that we have swapped the nodes b and a so these three steps in the while loop are for the swap then we move to the next two nodes in the link list so now previous becomes equal to current so previous is a and current is next of a which is c so now we again come in this while loop so now we set previous next is equal to current next so we are setting the pointer from a to d which means we are breaking the link from a to c and then we are setting current next to current next next which means we are creating the link from c to e so c to d link has been broken and then we set previous next next to current so so we are creating the link from d to c so we are breaking this link so after this step our link list will be dummy then we have b then we have a a is pointing to d d is pointing to c and c is pointing to e then e is pointing to f and f is pointing to g 
then we move previous to current so previous comes at c and current comes at next of c which is e so here you can see we have swapped the pair cd to dc now in the next iteration we set next of previous to current next so next of previous means we are creating the link from c to f then we create the link current next so current next is at e so we create the link from e to g and then we create the link from f to e so the link list becomes dummy b a d c points to f f points to e and e points to g then we move previous to e and current to g now in the next iteration we check this while condition so now current next is equal to null because current is at g and g is the last node so this while loop terminates and then we return the pointer which is dummy next so dummy next is pointing to node b so we return the pointer to b and our link list is b a d c f e g so here using the iterative method we have swapped the nodes in pair so now once we've understood both the recursive and iterative methods let's have a look at the implementation all the source code that i'll be showing is available in my github repository link of which is present here and as well as in the description now let's have a look at the code so in the main function i create the link list which i've shown in the left side then i pass this link list to two function swap pairs recursive and swap pairs iterative so in the recursive method first i check if head is null or it is the last node if that is the case so there are no nodes to swap so i return the head node otherwise i save the pointer which is next of head in temp and i call this function swap pairs recursive again for temp next then i reset the pointer temp next and i return temp so these few lines will swap the adjacent nodes in the linked list and in the iterative method first i create a dummy node i set previous to dummy and current to head then i run a while loop till current is not equal to null and current next is not equal to null so i set the previous and current pointers like we discussed so when the while loop terminates so that means the linked list has been traversed fully or we are at the last node so both of those scenarios means that we have traversed all the adjacent nodes in the linked list then i save the pointer to dummy next i delete the dummy node so as to avoid memory leak and i return the pointer to result in the main function i print the link list again let's see the output of this program so the link list after swapping the adjacent pairs using the recursive and iterative method is b a d c f e g so this problem is also available on lead code as question number 24 swap nodes in pairs i pasted the same code here and it is success So that was all for this video. If you have any doubts or suggestions, please leave in the comment section below. If you like my content, please do like, share and subscribe to my channel. It really motivates me to make more such content. And until next time, this is Sandeep Thapar signing off.